How's it going? Thanks for joining me. You know, I see videos pushing this idea that the internet is outside of U.S. control and now in the control of the United Nations, which is funny because the internet is the new world order itself. And everything you know is a lie. You are living on a chessboard right now. You are a pawn in a game. And you have been made retarded beyond belief. I'm going to give you a good example. Like Werner von Braun, a Nazi, right? Then you go look at his grave, and you know what you're going to see on his grave? Take a look. You're going to see that it's a Jewish grave. That's only Jewish people who make graves like that. And I'm telling you, you were fed the reverse of truth in all things. This was like uh, everything you've ever been told. Like I showed in a previous video, Hitler with his arm up. He's pointing to the center of the dish, to the Holy of Holies where you get your way out of the matrix. It's just that simple. He's holding his hand up showing you. It's right over there, the fountain of youth, the center of the dish where every compass points to. So this is a chessboard. It's like a, in a cube. You're inside of a cube like I show in videos. And at the very center is the holy of holies, the holy grail. That is the eye where we need to get to. They rub this in our fucking face. We need to get here before we're dead. And you need to help out. Some of you guys are funny. I mean, you should be making videos pointing out the obvious. We set up our Christmas trees on an X. It's the spear of destiny piercing the side of Jesus Christ who's on the cross. He goes round and round and round. That's why we have spiral lights around our Christmas tree. It's moving inward and outward. It's like a picture of a, a multi-layered cake, like, um, like a wedding cake. That's because it's the union between a light hole and a black hole going round and round and round that's why we dance and we do all these different things this is no there are no accidents people it's one side of a light hole is a black hole and the one you're on is on loop the moon is a rib of the earth so you're looking at the grid the grid is the is adam and a rib was taken off placed up in the sky it's sending down a square wave and you know it as the moon moon like moony loony like Look, people, we need to get rid of time, we need to get rid of money, and we need to take back this place. We need to get to the center of the dish where we find our everlasting life and our way out of the matrix. It's just as simple. There's no way to fuck this up. So when you hear people talking about New World Order and shit like that, you're on it right now watching everything you do on the Internet. That is the New World Order. Everything about you is being tracked. Your cell phone's tracking you, listening to you. Your ex, anything that's plugged into Wi-Fi is listening to you 24 hours a day. You have been chipped 20 times over and you can't see it. So you need to get your eyes on the prize, which is the center of the dish where every compass points to. Hey guys doing? Thanks for joining me. Let's cover something that people don't like to talk about. The Antichrist here is not... The Pope is not the president, it's actually you. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. It's that they flipped everything around on you and you can't see it, people. It's your church is the one going around pushing Earth's new ruler. Clearly, they've flipped everything around on you. Clear as day. You can't escape this, people. That your church is going door to door pushing a one world government and a ruler. It's clear. Your church is 100% satanic, and Jesus is a little Zeus, which is Saturn. You can see here by the cubes, they rub in your face, okay? Inescapable shit, people, okay? You need to become the Antichrist yourself. God is the one who hexed you. See for yourself. Go over here to your computer and type in sacred geometry. Okay, very simple. And go to part one, and it's going to show you clear as day. Okay, start over here. It is referred to as the architecture. And you'll see what God had to do to create the universe. You must also understand that what I'm showing here graphically is not a reality. That is, the structures being created are not material in any form. They are imaginary lines. They are pure consciousness. You may need to pause or replay this video several times before the implications become apparent to you. At this point, God is halfway to creating space. In order to complete this process, it must define some boundaries, because as I mentioned before, the void is infinite, and if no boundaries are defined, then relative movements of spirits remain impossible. 
To define some boundaries, all God needs to do is connect the end of every point to the end of every other point. The beauty of this, and indeed the entire process itself, is that God cannot make a mistake. It is simply impossible. Once all the ends are connected, what we have is an octahedron, which if viewed from the correct perspective, reveals a hexagram. Alright, there's your hexagram. If viewed from the correct perspective, you get your hexagram. That's what you see at the center of the Star David. Everything's been flipped on you. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. You've been so flipped up in reverse, you can't see it, people. I'm telling you, you've been worshipping Satan your entire life. You're doing it right now. That's where attention goes, energy flows, and symbols of the language of the universe. So you're you're a Jesus lover. You're you're worshiping little Zeus, the cube. He's the he's Jesus is the cube. It's the unfolded cube. It's inescapable, people. You unfold your cube, you have your plus sign, and then the top piece, the one you put on your head when you graduate, called squaring your circle. Everybody has been hexed and sleeping. You need to become the Antichrist yourself to save the fucking world. And you're a silly human slave, you know nothing of truth, and you're going to leave your silly comments. <laughs> but listen, you breathe Satan's chemical air, you drink Satan's fluoridated water, you eat Satan's poisoned food. See my video where I drag all your food across water using only a neodymium magnet. It's You take Satan's poison vaccines, you speak Satan's language, which is... Uh, is what the computer speaks, language, you're supposed to be on telepathy, you have gold paper virus, you let people die over this worthless paper backed by your own stupidity, and people can't afford operations or whatever medical procedures because they don't have money and they die, that's worthless paper backed by not gold, stupidity, and you have time virus, time is only for the slaves to get to work on time, pay your bills on time, pay your taxes on time, get to indoctrination classes on time, you're a freaking robot because of time. And your cell phone absolutely makes you a cyborg. You got cameras on every one of your devices. They're tracking you nonstop everywhere you go. You're cube to cube to cube. It doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. People can't rip you away from this cube, that cube, this cube. It's cube to cube to cube all day. You're spending Satan's paper money, which is worthless, and they rub it in your face, the sine wave. You are 100% cube satanic, and you need to snap the fuck out of your illusion. Okay, you are the slave class reptilian, and your the rulers, they're the blue bloods. They rub it in your fucking face. You're a red-blooded human. You're the food class. You have a reptilian core to your brain. You are the slave class. So don't tell me the reptilian shapeshifter videos are bullshit. You're a silly human slave. When you've been recycled over and over and over, you're living Groundhog Day over and over and over. You keep entering the light, and you keep getting recycled, and they rub it in your face. In the beginning of DreamWorks, they show you the man fishing for souls in the pack in the moon, and you see Pac-Man, you chasing down your own soul. Listen, this is rubbed in your face non-stop. Non-stop! It's that everything you know is a lie. And you just can't see it for whatever reason. You want to sit here and tell me that the chakra chart doesn't show you with the hexagram over your heart? You're going to sit there and tell me that your God didn't hex you? You're insane, people. You're absolutely you're so far off from reality, it's rubbed in your face on everything, and look, you need to become the fucking Antichrist yourself. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. Face it, your Jesus is little Zeus, he's not coming to save you, he's the one who's enslaved you, your God hexed you, your Jesus is Saturn, it's Saturn, which is little Zeus, and Jupiter, which is, Jupiter, uh, which is Zeus, and little Zeus... Okay, you can see the sine wave, they're rubbing your face, you've been squared. Okay, that's when you put your, you put that thing over your head when you graduate from school. Your motor board, okay, you are 100% cube satanic. Your wedding ring makes you satanic. Your language makes you satanic. Everything about you oozes 100% Satan, and Jesus is Satan 100%. God is Satan 100%. You need to snap out of your illusion. You need to deny peacefully for your survival, and you need to start worshiping each other. Now, God told Satan to worship man above God himself, and Satan refused, and he was cast down to earth. This is the story that they hide from you, or some people know this, some people don't. They have some other story that they were told, but... Here you are now in your carbon 666 flesh pack, you're imprisoned by your 50 trillion prison cells, and your kundalini, you're, nat you're naturally a star at your heart, and you've been trapped by your kundalini, and now you're forced to take a shit, get horny, get hungry, a pain in your heart, a frog in your throat, you get a headache and your scalpel tighten up, that's the seven inside you, 
and then there's three above you, but your angel wings and your halo, and two below you is the soles of your feet. You're supposed to be barefoot walking on dry, non-conductive soil and grounding out every day for 45 minutes, and you should be a sun gazer superhuman, and if you're not going to be a sun gazer superhuman, then what you could do is start growing your own, uh, your own food, like what you see on my porch. I'm taking it to the limit out here. Out here, sorry. But you can see. Anybody can do this. If I can do this, anybody can fucking do this. And this is a winter garden over here in Florida. See this? Got plants growing left and right. Anybody could do this. And you need to line everybody else's porch with fruit bearing trees, non GMOs. Listen, people, you're cube to cube to cube all day, satanic. You're the food class. All your food is killing you. You breathe Satan's chemical air. You drink his fluoridated water. You take his poison foods, poison vaccines. You take his education, which is not education, it's indoctrination. And everything about you is being kept in prison systems, NSA. Every text you make, every call you make, every email you send, everything about you, every location you go to. Your phones are listening to you. Your devices are constantly listening to you. Look at uh, the laws that they passed. They showed it to you in your face. They show it to you on... They don't even hide any of this stuff. It's Everything's out in the open, people. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. You're a silly human slave. You need to start worshiping each other and stop, and stop with this insanity because if you can't worship each other and you say your God created all these people and everything and now you can't worship God's creation... I mean, you're just sick, you're silly, and you need to check up from your neck up. Get to my channel for truth immediately and catch up on reality. You are 100% cube satanic. Your Jesus is little Zeus. Your God is Satan, Saturn. Everything you know is a lie, and you need to become the Antichrist yourself.